Believe it or not, robots are there and will always be there together with humans. Robots are already well on their way to help us with our mundane everyday tasks. Nowadays, robots can be found in manufacturing and production, logistics, in hospitals, and in almost everywhere. So with that said, in this video is all about the rise of robots. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Today, this video is all about the rise of robots. And without further ado, here we go. Number 1 is Robots Run Logistics Center Amid Growth of E-Commerce Industry The deaths of delivery workers are becoming a serious social issue in South Korea. On average, they work 12 hours, 6 days a week. To solve this problem, logistics centers are using robots. People had to manually sort the parcels before going on a delivery, but with the help of these robots, it has reduced that burden. Number 2 is Pandemic Speeds Labor Shift from Humans to Robots Robots will destroy 85 million jobs at mid-sized to large businesses over the next 5 years as the COVID-19 pandemic quickens changes in the workplace likely to exaggerate inequalities, a World Economic Forum study has found. Surveys of nearly 300 global companies found 4 out of 5 business executives were accelerating plans to digitize work and deploy new technologies, and doing employment gains made since the financial crisis of 2007 and 8. Number 3 is Seoul City to Build Museum for High-Tech Robots and AI Robots are becoming more common in our daily lives. That's why the Seoul Metropolitan Government is building a new science hub to share related tech with the public. From a robot that can help with disinfection at the entrance, to dancing robots that can groove to pop music, and even robots that have a conversation with you. Six types of high-tech robots were on display in Seoul's Dobonggu district at groundbreaking ceremony for the Seoul Robot and AI Museum. Number 4 is Robot Verifies Documents at the Russian Passport Office This is the most common theme in sci-fi movies, but in Russia robots has already started to replace human in offices to do simple tasks and robot developer feel that we are just a decade away from having all robot offices. It has already started that a robot verifies documents at the Russian passport office.
Number five is watch how NASA plans to use robots to refuel satellites. NASA's long-term goal is to prove that satellites can be serviced in orbit, conduct a Pathfinder mission to prove the concept, and then transfer the technology to the commercial sector, officials said. NASA plans to demonstrate in-orbit satellite refueling at the International Space Station with the help of Dexter, the two-armed Canadian robot. In an experiment scheduled to be conducted in the next 6 to 12 months, Dexter will be equipped with special tools on the end of its arms to cut through a satellite's exterior, insulation and wiring, hook up a hose and pump hydrazine into the satellite. Number six is Austin Restaurants Investment helps with contactless service and staffing. The restaurant owner said, when the restaurant realized COVID-19 likely wouldn't be going away anytime soon, they decided to invest 1,200 US dollars in leasing a robot that tag teams tables with other servers, delivering food after the order is taken. This is especially useful for this restaurant, which has suffered from fluctuating staffing shortages because of the pandemic and is still short-staffed. And that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching.